Hi, I'm Dan. I'm here at the Alligator Attraction Wildlife Learning Center. I'm our marketing manager here. And we're just celebrating the fact that we opened last week and we've got some guests coming in to take a look at our over 200 exotic pet rescues that we've got inside. Love to take you inside and show you around if you'd like to come with us. Yeah, so um, this is the, uh, the gift shop here at the attraction. So a lot of our things that we have here on sale um, actually go back towards helping wildlife. We've got different articles that are sold for uh, sea turtle trackers to be able to track sea turtles around the world. Um, we work with Wild Republic who has a lot of money from their stuffed animals that goes back to the World Wildlife Fund. Um, breast cancer awareness with our uh, got to kill it to cure it over here where 20% of everything sold goes back to breast cancer research. Um, but yeah, come on back. I'll show you some of the stars of the show here. Every, it's on everybody's list. Um, you know, they want to come down here to West Florida and they want to see a sunset. They want to see a dolphin and then they can see an alligator too. So these are American alligators. Um, these guys in here are going to be about two to five years old right now. Now we do also have one spectacle caiman, which is an invasive species, uh, species here in Florida. The lighter colored one right here is a spectacle. They're common caiman. Now these guys are going to live until they're somewhere to around 60 to 80 years old in captivity. Out in the wild they live until they're about 40 to 50, but only about 5% of them actually survive predation to make it to adulthood. Um, so facilities like this, we actually rescue these guys from skin farms so that they become uh, uh, wildlife ambassadors instead of uh, becoming belts and products for out there. Um, we go out a few times a year. If you come over here, we actually have some new hatchlings up here that are about uh, eight months old up in the top here. So we go a few times a year and buy some of them away from various uh, skin farms around the country to uh, save them and give them a better shot at life. I'll take you over here too and I'll introduce you to Rudy. He is uh, the very first animal we had here at the attraction. He's a 27-year-old uh, African Spurred or Sulcata tortoise. So Rudy here, um, he's going to turn 28 on Christmas. Um, these guys, a good fact to know if you're trying to figure out if somebody's a tortoise or a turtle. Tortoises are actually land-based where turtles are going to be in the water. So, but, yep, so that's a tortoise right there, yep. This is a bearded dragon. So this is my friend Gloria. So she's native to Australia. Um, so it's a, a bearded dragon. So she gets her she gets her name from that little beard right there, that little pouch of skin under her chin. Yeah, yeah, they can. There's a lot of different. There's eight different species of bearded dragon. So depending on the type you get, but yeah, her spikes are actually pretty soft if you feel them. You can feel her if you want. So I think they'd be hard. They live in like the savanna, the woodlands, things of that nature. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got two more back here, guys. Oh, okay. Well, we got toothless back here if you want to see them. We have, we have a guy that, that's actually what they base toothless off of in the uh, How to Train Your Dragon shows. So this is our new aquarium area. So we've actually just done a big uh, remodeling here. We needed something to do while we were closed down during COVID. So good time to get some of these projects done that stack up. Um, we're actually starting to change things into different areas of the world. So you'll have reefs, rainforests, freshwater, Florida fish, a little bit of everything. These are gonna be African cichlids over here. And then we're actually in the process of putting in a touch tape down here so that we'll have some different species that people can actually interact with. This is our reptile room here at the attraction. So um, everybody on this side of the attraction is going to be pretty much land-based. Everybody over here is going to be primary arboreal. Um, but we've got uh, everything from bearded dragons to a Chinese water dragon, um, monitor lizards, tegus. Now most of the species you're going to see here are invasive to Florida. Um, they aren't native um, just because a lot of species will actually thrive when they get into our ecological system here. This is one of our stars of our show coming up here, but it looks like he's in the process of taking a nap. This is Sid. He's two years old. He's a Hawkins two-toed sloth. Now, they typically, they're like teenagers. They sleep about 15 to 18 hours a day. 
so he, he, he gets out, he'll get active for a little bit, and then he'll make his way back up there and take a nice walk back. But we actually rescued him from a family in Michigan, so we brought him down here. They found out about our facility, and luckily we got him down here. Um, he'll live to be about 40 years old, but uh, just a cool little guy. We love having here. Now we've just actually redone this wall too, so we kind of uh, pieced together. We've got some of our snake species over here. We've got some ball pythons, some uh, boa constrictors. But yeah, we'd uh, love to have you down here. Again, the animals like actually having the interaction. Most of them being pet rescues, pet surrenders. They like to see people, so they're ready to have people come out and visit. Um, we've got a great special going on right now too. If you uh, have a family of five, everybody or more, they're going to get in for the. Uh, everybody gets in for the child's price of seven dollars. So we'd love to have you down here, support the animals, and uh, learn more about them.